One thing that no one expected us to get in Pokemon Legends Arceus was a completely unexpected trio of starter Pokemon, with Rowlet, Cyndaquil and Oshawott taking the place of the expected Turtwig, Chimchar and Piplup. Now, with Pokemon Legends Z2A on the way, people expect that to happen again and just like Douglas Pope reminded me on stream, I haven't talked about that myself. So hey, I'm not so a strainer and what will be the starters for Pokemon Legends Z2A? Let's get into it. I will start this with what I think the starters should be and not what I expect them to be. So I'm assuming that we will get new Mega Evolutions instead of new original forms and because of that I would love to see the original Kalos starters still having this role in Pokemon Legends Z2A. Back in the day it always felt strange why this Pokemon never got an evolution. Nowadays, looking back, we can see that there was a big Kanto thing going on in Pokemon X and Y, likely due to the initial reception to Pokemon Black and White's lack of original Pokemon in the main game. But they deserve one. They are from Kalos, they were exposed to the same events that made Mega Evolution possible and so they should have one. And I'm also ignoring Battle Bond Greninja because I think bringing that to the games was a bit of a mistake. Still, that's my opinion, that's only my opinion. What do I think will actually happen? Well, as I said, I'm assuming that original forms won't be available and these starters will get a new Mega Evolution instead. For that, we have to discard 6 Pokemon already. The Gen 1 starters and the Gen 3 starters all got Mega Evolutions in Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, making them a very unlikely choice for starter Pokemon in Legends Z2A. Also, the same starters from Legends Arceus are very likely not going to be repeated in this one. That eliminates 9 out of the 27 starters we have. I am also eliminating the Gen 9 starters as I feel it's too early to use them again. That leaves us with 12 out of 27 eliminated which gives us 15 Pokemon to choose from. The first trio that came to my mind was Snivy because of the whole Regal thing, Piplup because of the whole Emperor inspiration that Empoleon has and I was a bit torn on the fire starter but I ended up with Scorbunny for the football thing. But I wasn't sold on that. That is when Odd Cypher, another fellow Teamfall Hat enjoyer, reminded me that the Suian starters had nothing to do with Hisui or with Hokkaido or Ezo before their final evolutions. And so all these thoughts about obvious kings and obvious emperors might simply be wrong. What we might have are Pokemon that only appear to be related to the Kalos region or to France when they mega evolve or, in case I'm wrong, when they get original form for their final evolutions. And it's with this in mind that first I will choose a starter from the previous generation like they did in Legends Arceus with Rowlet. And my pick is Sobol. While Intellion is based around the concept of a secret agent, we could see a more noir take on the Gen 8 starter by giving it a black and white color scheme, maybe even turning it from the one catching the bad guy to the actual bad guy with a water and dark type. Or give it black and white stripes with a beret plus a water mustache, I think both would work very very well. For the fire type, I think we might just see Tepic getting chosen. So hear me out. I know that the Emperor thing seems made for Empoleon, but when trying to search possible connections to France with every starter to see if I could think of something, I found a weird myth about it being illegal to call your pig Napoleon. That law simply does not exist and it all goes back to the first French version of Animal Farm by George Orwell, where they replaced the pig named Napoleon by a pig named Caesar. But some people truly believe that and there are numerous articles online just dedicated to debunking that myth. And so I could totally see an Emperor inspired Embor as our fire starter mega evolution or regional form. Finally, our grass starter was the hardest to think of. We already had Gen 6, 1, 3, 7 and 9 eliminated as those already have Mega Evolution or were used recently either for Gen 9 in Sprigatito's case or in Legends Arceus in Rowlet's case. And since I don't expect them to repeat generations, Gen 5 and 8 were also eliminated since I chose Sobol and Tepi. That left us with Gen 2 and 4, Chikorita and Turtwig. And so, considering and maybe hoping for a possible connection between Hisui and this game, I could see Turtwig being the chosen one, as much as I would prefer Johto being represented by the way. A Torterra or Mega Torterra that instead of having its shrub-like tree has grape vines and grape bunches representing the wine regions of France. I think that would be awesome to see in Pokemon Legends Z2A. 
And so, I believe that this combination of starter Pokemon, Sobble, Tepig and Turtwig is first and foremost unexpected, original and could not only represent underrepresented regions but also connect lore in a very interesting way that could continue this awesome journey that Pokemon has been on of connecting what they did before to what they want to do in the future. And that is all I have for you today, the Pokemon that I believe will be the starters in Pokemon Legends Z2A, but what about you? What Pokemon do you believe will be the starters for this new game? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. Also, you can become a channel member or check out my merch in order to further support the channel, I'd be forever thankful for that. You can follow me on social media or check out one of my streams here and on Twitch, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one.